me. School? School at City College is where Katrina and her partner are now, where they go every morning when leaving their Tenderloin subsidized apartment on Ellis, and after dropping two-year-old Destiny at Compass's Tenderloin Child Care Center. It's the schooling they hope will get them back on track. It's been a long, long, bumpy, and emotional road for both. Basically, uh, I was doing meth and um, had gotten out of a relationship which my seven turning eight-year-old uh, was in. And when that relationship broke up, I started doing drugs. Through that, I ended up pregnant because <laughs> things happen and you make stupid choices. When she was eight months pregnant, Katrina says she met Jonathan, also a meth addict carrying his own baggage. I said, I gotta stop, I'm having a baby. You know, I'm like, <laughs> as much as I said, as every tweaker does, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, but I never did. So of course I went to hospital high. Of course I had her toxic, of course they took her away. When Destiny was three months old and in foster care, her mother vowed to quit doing drugs again, this time for good. But she and Jonathan, while both high, crashed their car into a building. The next three months were spent instead inside a hospital recovering. Katrina says what finally made her climb out of the steep well she had fallen into her visits to see her little baby. She saw how Destiny was being treated. She had diaper rashes. She showed up in a car seat that was soaked in pee. I mean, it was just like, you know, oh, we'll let you guys do that bonding bath time. I'll save her bath for you. And it's like, so she'd show up filthy. You know, it is, I'd have to send her back. Katrina got her Destiny back many months later. She got the drug rehab care she needed, but things were not smooth. What little Jonathan had was dwindling at a tiny apartment by the beach, and neither could recover with a baby to care for and no jobs. They were desperate and just a breath away from sleeping every night on the streets. It was horrifying. A place in San Francisco called Hospitality House pointed them toward Compass and Connecting Point. What they helped do, like, the first month was it just stabilized us in a place where we could put our stuff, at least the little stuff we had, and, um, and within a structure, they helped us start just taking care of ourselves. We can oftentimes help them with rental assistance, uh, intercede with a landlord, uh, figure out a way for them to stay where they are. Compass's Tenderloin Child Care Center right here on Leavenworth was their true savior. I'm brave. I like to swing high. Katrina had a happy place. Destiny could go daily Hi. while she could work on herself. That meant pursuing a job in art therapy and applying to school and not having to worry every yeah. minute about her daughter. <laughs> it changed our lives completely because I was able, I was able to start taking advantage of things I couldn't with her. You want to put the hot dog in the pot for me? Exhaustion still sets in at dinner time, but having their own all private right, space away from all the neighborhood shouting, the blasting music, the fighting, and the drugs is something they never take for granted. The idea is that a family uh, enters the rental subsidy program with the understanding that over the course of a year or maybe, maybe two years, they're going to be able to increase their income enough so that they can be stable when the subsidy is pulled out. Through everyone's Hello. efforts, we were able to get to a point where our life Hello. in the next couple years is gonna be where we want it to be. I mean, right now our rent, I mean, I'm gonna be, I mean, it's $163 a month for everything. I mean, I have the opportunity to go get my bachelor's degree. Cause I saw starfish sponges, fish shaped like trumpets, so many different chicken. Pasta today with bread, and that's what we're serving. I cook just like I would cook for my own family. I serve people like I want to be served. I like to give people, you know, how I like to be treated. All right, thank you very much. It's hard to smell the warm home cooked food Rita and her family are serving up outside on the street, but somehow those hanging out near Market and Howard, whose bellies are grumbling, whose bodies are weak, seem to know she's there for them as usual. Hi, thank you. God bless you too. This is really Rita's dream, to have her own mobile van that feeds and aids those who are having trouble helping themselves. She wants to let people know where they can go to get back on their feet, places like Compass. They want some more? Okay. We'll stay here until we finish serving, 
everybody until all the food is gone, and then we'll go. Rita says she's just following the funny message she got the other night in a fortune cookie. It says, if you continually give, you will continually have. So, that has truly been one of my...